What we appear to be witnessing right now is a coordinated gun and bomb attack on the Norwegian capital. Now, viewers will recall that last October there was a State Department travel advisory for the continent of Europe, an Al-Qaeda plot uh, to launch a Mumbai-style attack against Europe. Well, this seems and feels awfully a lot like that right now, Halle. So, just to tell our viewers what we're talking about here, we understand uh, from NRK, the uh, state broadcaster there, that there is an attack ongoing on Utoya Island where there's a youth rally or a youth meeting of the ruling Labour Party. So, this is not something that has come to an end yet, Paul. We're just getting some updates on what appears to be a terrorist bombing in Oslo, Norway. An explosion hit government headquarters this morning. At least seven people are dead. Many more are hurt. A government spokesman says the prime minister is safe. An aide says he was working at home at the time. And anti-terror police have also been sent to a youth camp just outside of Oslo. We're now on our way away from the blast site. Headed in the opposite direction. A 32-year-old man allegedly dressed in a police uniform opened fire and murdered 84 people. He told them he was there to help them and told them to come close. And then he pulled an automatic weapon out of his bag and started killing people. To make sure they were dead, he pulled a shotgun out of the bag and finished the job. Salamen går. Minuter senare är banken omringad av stora polisstyrkor med skarpskyttare. Huvudingången till DNB nu är som dratt ut av en Hollywoodfilm. This is going to be a great movie. I worked with Steven Spielberg. I've been involved with Warner Brothers. I have a massive film background. Två filmproducenter har lagt en bot på 50 000 kronor, medan DNB Nord har bötlagt med 30 000 kronor efter att polisi Bergen måste rycka ut till det de trodde var ett bankran. Just a pretend scene. It's fiction. It's not a real bank robbery. We're making a movie. They're all fake. They're all BB guns. None of them are real. The skull you wish is here, certainly. So that's what we are coming to see. But it's also eventually what kind of strafe for forgery it is going to be for us. The whole damn town is involved in a plot against us. What you could say is, I guess, an informant, you know, that said that he had to tell everyone he wasn't speaking to us, but he was still at the same time, un you know, uh, undercover, basically, yeah. trying to investigate this whole thing. And again, he uncovered more details of this plot, you know, and uh, came with more information. One person making an innocent comment in, in, in public or on Facebook, and the men they'll send, they won't care that you're a kid, they'll be glad. You'll be your mother's kryptonite. They will kill you. All of you. Painfully. You're scaring me. Uh, we doing we did nothing wrong. Can you please make sure the police do not take my videotape? All of a sudden you realize actually this policeman is starting to shoot all of you. Uh, did, were you how close did you get to the shooter? Were you able to see him? One of the girls stopped crying and she told me that there was a policeman with a bald head that had started shooting them. This is a, a terrorist uh, attack.